This next exercise in our linear running progression is seated arm action. You know, one of the biggest and most common mistakes athletes make is they, they have inefficient arms when they run. The more efficient you can make your arms, the faster an athlete's gonna run. I like to start with this exercise here at the Precy Speed School, seated because we can put all of our focus on the arm technique. So the first thing we're gonna do, a lot of athletes, if they lack flexibility in lower back or hamstrings, they might be a little rounded at the back. So uh, I know Martin uh, naturally is a little tight. He's a, he's a, tends to be a little tight athlete. So we can bend the knee slightly, just to give him a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, uh, um, some room so his back stays really erect. The next thing, we're gonna put his arms at 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle, the hands are always open. We like the hands open because we think extension. To really put force into the ground, it's all about hip extension. And when we drive the elbows back, it's about shoulder extension. So the hands are open, fingers are open, fingers are extended, arms are at 90. Next thing we wanna do is we want you to be familiar and understand shoulder positioning. Right now, a lot of athletes, what they'll do is they'll tend to round their shoulders. You know, they have tight anterior pecs, anterior delts, because they're bench pressing a lot, they're doing very little upper back work. So what we want to do is really open up that chest, squeeze the two shoulder blades together, and you might walk around the athlete, put your fingers between his two shoulder blades, have them pinch your fingers, and now they're in a good position. Sometimes the athletes too will shrug their shoulders in this exercise. They'll actually bring their shoulders up. We want them to relax the shoulders, head up, chest up. So I like to think, I like to share with my athletes, okay, we're gonna do seated arm action. We're gonna you know, have our arms at 90, hands and fingers open, extended, shoulders down and back. That, those are the mental cues. Shoulders down and back and relaxed. And get them to kind of squeeze and open that chest up. The other thing too, by having an open chest opposed to a, a closed chest, you know, their arm action is gonna be limited and the technique, it's gonna uh, cause some flaws in the technique if, you're, if you don't address this, this lack of flexibility in the anterior pec, anterior delt. Really important, and most athletes are very tight here. Why? because they're benching all day. They're doing a lot of things in front of their body and naturally being a human, we're, we're, we're moving in front of our body all day, very rarely doing pulling. So let's, let's try this out, let's show this movement. So Martin's uh, erect, knee slightly bent if he needs to, uh, elbows at 90 and we're gonna start controlled, really slow. So we're gonna bring one arm back, the other arm forward. The arm going back or extending at the shoulder is gonna come to his back pocket, then the front arm action, the hand is gonna come right to midline, not across his midline, but right to his midline, right to about his nose. His thumb is gonna be about his you know, nose height, roughly, or you know, right around his mouth, nose height. And you can see he's got good separation right here from the elbow to the, to the front part of his body, to his chest. So we're gonna switch, and you can see good uh, range of motion, good form, chest up, uh, he's looking straight ahead. And let's just do a series for maybe 10 seconds of just good rotations, very slow and controlled. I wanna focus on quality. Again, quality over quantity, good. Now, as you progress into, with this movement, you can have athletes, I like to use the cues first gear. So let's go through this, Mark, first gear. This would be a first gear rhythm. First gear, he's moving at a very slow, perfect technique pace. Then second gear, now he's moving a little faster. Now third gear is about 75% intensity. Every gear is 25%. 100% intensity is firing. You can see the uh, contractions and relax. You can see how his body's kind of jumping and all, all and off, on and off the ground because he's generating a lot of force through his body. There's a lot of force going through his body. It's gonna cause that. It's okay, we wanna see that. Strong athletes for their body weight would be bouncing up and down. If you're weak for your body weight, you're just gonna kind of sit there and you're not gonna move so much. Your body's not gonna pound off the ground. That's almost like I, I use the example, if you have a, a lawnmower that has a real powerful engine, it kind of, the whole you know, body of that uh, lawnmower vibrates, you know, because that, that horsepower, and there might be some you know, things going on, but it's, it shows power. It really shows a lot of power. So that's a great movement. Again, we just spent a few minutes going over a lot of detail on something that's really taken for granted, arm action, and we're still sitting on the ground. More to come, we're excited to bring it to you.